And coming up now is Top Fuel. Team Alanabi, Team Schumacher, subplot there, Alan Johnson and Don Schumacher. They'll worship Tony Schumacher as the driver. to the top end and Gary Gerald. Well, Mike Neff, I know you have led championship points as a tuner. This is a first. You're now leading championship points as a driver. How good does that feel? Hard to believe, Gary. I mean, this is this is like a dream come true. Um, you know, I, I got to thank John Force giving me the opportunity to drive again in Castro and Ford and AAA for supporting that because they have some say-so in it. and. I just uh, had to never guessed, you know, that I'd be standing here right now with all this stuff on holding this trophy, but it's just awesome. Just uh, this is the best day of racing that I've ever had in my life. Well, congratulations, and may there be many more. Well, thank you. And when he won the finals afterwards, I took him out and taught him how to spend money. I think I'm going to take him out again. He's got more money now. Uh, you're good at spending money, Paul. Oh, you bet. Del Worsham looking to become the 95th different winner in top fuel history. Uh, Tony Schumacher, he wants to become the driver with the most top fuel wins here at Gainesville. That would be five. And Del Worsham has the win. What a great finish to this day. Man, that was just a great old drag race there. And now Del Worsham joins Kenny Bernstein as the second driver to win this major in both Nitro classes. Wow, take a look at this. A slight advantage for Tony Schumacher. Four thousandths of a second, but at the stripe. Whoa. Four thousandths of a second. 23 inches is the difference. Dave Reef, what do you have? Well, I have Alan Johnson, and what a moment for you. First the championship last year with Larry Dixon. Now you move Dell over from a funny car, a position he hasn't been in in almost 15, 16 years. How did he do it so quick? Well, yeah, obviously, he, you know, he's a really good driver. You know, we've all known that for a number of years, and, uh, you know, we just never really gave him a good chance in a funny car. You know, he won a few races, and he did a good job. We just never really gave him a car that could win. And, you know, now, you know, we transition that, transition that crew over to a dragster. It's going to take him a while, but I'll tell you what, with the help of Brian Houston, who's been really working his tail off over there to get everything straightened out, he's doing a great job. The crew's coming around. I'm telling you, that, that could be a good team. Go back to 1996. This man won this race with his brother, Gary Gerald. Wow, a classic top fuel final in the Gator Nationals. And Dell back in the seat of a dragster, only the second event of the year to be holding that wall. What does that mean? What does that sum up what you've gone through in the last few months preparing for this moment? Hey, it's, it's unreal. You know, uh, Shea Khaled called me over a year ago with, with this dream and this, and this vision of having two top fuel cars. And if one doesn't win, maybe the other one will. And uh, I'd like to thank Shea Khaled, Al Nabi, Brian for being a great new crew chief. I mean, the guy is so dedicated and just very meticulous. Alan Johnson for the work he does. The entire Alan Abbey crew, Redline Oil, Toyota. And my wife, my family, and NHRA in full throttle just for even giving me this opportunity, man. Woo! A very select group he just joined. The 15th man to win in both top Nitro classes. With the win, Dell takes over the points lead. He joins an exclusive club who've led the points in both top two and funny car, Gary Selty, Don Perdome, Ed Viece McCulloch, and Kenny Bernstein. And let's go to John Kernan. And a runner-up finish for Cruz Pedregon. And Cruz, speculation, did you make a wrong lane choice there? No, I don't think so. Uh, just something uh, something in the clutch didn't work right. We'll have to go back and look at the data, but uh, some, that shouldn't have happened. We were just going up there to run a high-O or something like that and, you know, and give Mike a, a race there. But, uh, you know, for Snap-on, UTI, uh, Wicks, everybody, uh, this is a great day for us. You know, can't win them all. I've been doing this a few years, and I know that uh, our day will come. Uh, I just want to say to all the franchisees out there, just keep rooting us on and keep, uh, keep doing your thing because we've got a heck of a hot rod right here. Thank, Thank you. you guys.
Mike Dunn, two races down, records broken in both of them. This is good. How about that? And top fuel of Pomona, and then Pro Stock and Pro Stock Motorcycle here in Gainesville, and we saw great Woo! races with great weather. You can't beat it. Gators are always good. Next, NHRA Full Throttle Drag Racing Series qualifying April 2nd. We'll be on the air at 7 o'clock.